Today's video is going to be on us welding these uh, Holly Davidson struts that we had on the XV250. We actually dropping the fender closer to the tire and the struts you buy, I can't find a set short enough. So we just cut these, got them where we wanted them, tacked them, and we're going to finish welding them. So it's going to be pretty simple. It's been a project on the to-do list for a while. So stay tuned and hope you enjoy this little uh, update video on the XV250 and you can pretty well you know see how we do it and what they look like now whenever you do this be sure you have a good welder we are actually using uh, a uh, gas welder you know flux might could do it but you know it's whiskey these actually support your motorcycle but you know always be sure weld them or have them welded by a professional we actually bevel these just kind of they ain't the best. I had a friend do this. I always fit it for me. So I'm just going to weld them. Now we're going to let them cool off. We got them welded. You can clean the welds up if you want to. The next step, if you're going to powder coat them or if you're going to paint them, you need to scuff them up or at least sandblast them. We are going to be painting these with uh, cryon fusing. And we're going to go ahead and scuff them up, put one to two coats on it, and I'll show you what it looks like when we finished. So we got the struts all welded. They look pretty nice. Now, if you're doing this yourself, be sure to use a good welder and have enough confidence that your weld will hold. If you don't, Please take it to a professional because these do impact the safety of your motorcycle. Now, I do got a video of me installing these at the stock height before it was cut down. they actually pretty short HD uh, Sportster hardtail struts. I got a video of that in the link down below. It's, you know, it's a good video to watch. But we wanted the fender a little bit closer to the tire. That's why we cut them. But you can check that video out and if you're happy with the height. Well, you might could adjust your fender down a little bit more and not have to cut these down and we weld them like we did. Just check that video out in the description below. It might be helpful. Before we cut it down, the fender was like three inches off the tar and I didn't like it. So I cut them, re-welded them, and painted them. They look great. And there you go. Uh, if you found this video helpful and enjoyed watching, as always, leave a comment, drop a like, and show your support for my channel by smashing that subscribe button. And we'll see you on the next video.